Before, it was between wired and wireless earphones. Wired was considered as good as it is cheap, can connect with any 3.5 mm jack. No need to worry about batteries or charger and the main thing is it's totally free from radiations. Yes, Bluetooth also emits radiations but comparatively very much lesser than cell phone, hence it is said as safe, but it is not proven yet. Even though it emits less radiations, it gave us a freedom of movement. What I'm trying to say is, we no need to stay near the audio source, that's where wired headphones lost its strength. Okay, leaving this aside, this video is about comparison between true wireless and wireless neckbands, which is better. Let's check it out. In true wireless stereo, this will be the master which communicates with phone and it transfers signal to this. It is said as slave of this master. It got nothing to do with the phone's Bluetooth connection. Sometimes these both won't be in good terms, so we have to restart the internal connection at times. And this is the charging case which helps for an extra few number of charges. In short, if you lose this master earbuds, then this whole thing is of no use. Whereas in neckband, two earbuds are connected by wires to its Bluetooth hardware things and other side will be its battery. Because of its less complex hardware connectivity, Bluetooth is much stronger and more stable than true wireless. So for better stable connection, definitely it's neckband. In terms of style, undoubtedly it's true wireless. Just place it and it stays there until you don't disturb your ears. Then you can easily Alibaba your lecturers in classroom and from your bosses in office. Just remove one earbuds, place your hand on your cheek. I bet no one can notice it. So the clear winner in terms of style is true wireless. When it comes to sound quality, both delivers good quality sounds. It is based on the models and the price you pay for it. Price varies based on the brands and its model. It's really difficult to give a verdict in this case. For sound and pricing, both scores here. Comment below your suggestions. Battery backup for neckband is long enough for a day's work as it has enough space to accommodate a big size battery. But in case of true wireless, battery life is short like 2-4 to four hours. And after every usage, we need to put back to its charging case. But I think practically it is fine for daily commuters. As a one-way journey to office, I don't think it is more than 2 hours for most of us. And the same for returning back from office. Hence, in terms of battery life, I found both as adequate. But if your intention is to use continuously for a longer stretch, like watching 2 or 3 movies at a time, then definitely it's neckband. So, both get the score in terms of battery. Call quality for true wireless, mic will be over here, right? So, it's far away from your mouth. But still, they use advanced technologies to capture our voice. Whereas in neckband, mic will be either placed here or on the wires. So even you can engage in your personal low voice chat. But in true wireless, you need to remove one earbuds and talk like this. So for call quality, neckband is really a winner. In terms of usability, TWS is like you need to take the casing out from your pocket. Then place two earbuds on your ears. Then put the casing back inside your pocket. Then once you are done listening to songs, then again take the casing out from the pocket place two earbuds in it and put it back into your pocket again. Is it convenient? Whereas in neck bands, you just leave it here. When you want to listen, just place your earbuds and then once you are done, just remove it and it stays here. You have to be more conscious with true wireless. When you are wearing or taking off your helmets, this thing falls off. Imagine how it will be to get on from your bike and search on the ground then while jogging to swipe your sweat by mistake if you do this or with your towel this thing falls off but you have a sport model in TWS but this won't be comfortable when we wear a helmet then while laying on a bed it falls off all this happened for neckband as well but no matter what it stays here on your shoulders all day long and for guys you need an additional space in your pocket to bring along with you so neckband is best in terms of usability. So I conclude this video saying neckband will be a better choice. If you all agree with what I am saying then please subscribe to my channel and do support me to do more such videos. And if you have any suggestions about my videos please comment below. Bye.